The truth of the matter is that Calvinism's not a teaching that is embraced with open arms within the entire Christian world. John Calvin, being a man, was an important figure for the Reformation, yet had some teachings that were not entirely biblical. One of the most prominent teachings of Calvinism is that of predestination, that people are destined either for salvation or damnation. Let's read one of their most prominent proof texts. Ephesians 1 verses 4 to 5. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. It just so happens that one of the most prominent verses against the idea of Calvinism's predestination is one of the most memorized verses in the Bible. John 3.16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If God wanted people in hell, he has the power to do it, with an open and shut case. The issue would then be, why would he provide the option to get saved if it wasn't our choice? which flies in the face of God's purpose coming down and paying for our sins up front. God's plan for this world does not contradict his plan for salvation. Once a person is saved, they are sealed until the day of redemption. Ephesians 4 verse 30 They are saved, not in the process of being saved. The one reason why anybody would end up in hell at this point would be because they did not accept Christ as their Lord and Savior. Their own choice. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 